Today on the channel, we're headed for a showdown. We've got the big boss man, the British Bulldog, and we've got Riddle and AJ Styles. Welcome everyone, Kyle here, the Larry Bird of Action Figure Collecting. I got the shirt on today. Uh, welcome back everyone to the channel for another showdown. Yes, Mattel showdown unboxings and review. Just like my old friend Jeff Lynn from Electric Light Orchestra always told me, Kyle, you're headed for a showdown and that's exactly what we're headed for today. With, we got Riddle, we got AJ Styles, we've got the Big Boss Man, and we got the British Bulldog. So let's jump in here. We'll start with Series 4 of the Showdown 2 packs. AJ Styles, Matt Riddle. I was caught in a weak moment in my travels. Uh, Walmart off the beaten path. And I saw this was only $16. And for some reason, I was thinking these were $20 now. Um, so 16 bucks. I said, you know what? Maybe I'll be a Matt Riddle completist. Maybe I'll just go all in on Riddle figures. We'll see. It's still early in the game. And I don't mind AJ Styles. You know, AJ Styles is a good brother. He's a good brother out there. I like AJ Styles figures too. So I said, what the heck, I'll pick this one up. Um, but like I said, I don't pick up a ton of these basics, showdown packs especially, but we're seeing a little bit more flashbacks in some of these packs. Like we're seeing over with this pack, we have a China Trish Stratus pack coming, I believe, in Series 6. So there's a few that I might end up uh, dabbling into. Dabbling into, I guess that's the way to put it. But by no means am I going to be a completist with the showdown basic sets out there. But we're going to do this review like we do all the other reviews on the channel. We're going to take a look at the packaging. We're going to talk about it. We're going to box it. We're going to talk about it. We'll see where it goes from there. So there it is. The familiar championship showdown packs that we've got now. I do love it comes with these two stands on the side. Those stands also double as putting in the child's uh, wrestling belt. You can put those on the side if you want. Now, an adult collector, we don't really like this. I like the idea of a stand, but I don't need a stand this big. Um, but little kids, I can see, hey, it's a nice stand, nice display thing. Put it on the side of your little toy belt. These are for kids at the end of the day. It makes sense. That's who they're appealing to. Obviously, the elites lean more towards the adult collectors, but these basics are more for the kids. But like me and a lot of you out there, we dabble. We dabble, and we got to understand the uh, rules of engagement here with these showdown packs. But you got Riddle, you got AJ Styles, you got the showdown, you got the stands, WWE logo, both figures in there. Uh, just kind of the usual suspects there. And then on the back, we got the rest of the two packs down here, a little cross-sell. Uh, we unboxed that Seth Rollins, Drew McIntyre. That Seth Rollins is a very solid figure, so I did pick that up. There's the demonstration of the title belts, how that all works. You got the glamour shots of Riddle and AJ Styles. We got a little blurb. We'll read that blurb, see what it says. UPCs, warnings, all that kind of fun stuff down at the bottom. You can pick this up, I'm sure, at Ringside Collectibles. Use discount code KYLE, save 10% if you're really searching for it out there. Let's see, Riddle vs. AJ Styles, July 17th, 2020. Smackdown Live may be the house that AJ Styles built, but Riddle set out to prove why he's the bro who runs the show. After defeating the Phenomenal One in a non-title match, the original bro earned an Intercontinental Championship opportunity. Would AJ Styles continue his reign as the face that runs the place, or would Riddle turn Friday nights into the bro show? So there you go. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful little blurb on the back. You guys know I appreciate a blurb. I appreciate a young copyright. Always love that kind of stuff. Pull this out. Packaging. See you later. There it goes. A little, let's see, a little tape going on. We put that to the side. And we get these. So we got Matt Riddle. It just kind of is what it is. A little gold foil. I can see these getting scraped up by a little kid pretty good. See you later. There goes the old Frisbee. AJ Styles, the phenomenal one. There it is. P1, the phenomenal one. Can I get it through the uprights? Oh, see you later right off the screen. All right, now we're taking a look at these two. Let's take a look at the old plastic prison. There it is. We got AJ Styles. We got Riddle in the plastic prison looking only like they can look, of course. Let's pop them out. See what's doing here. Hey. See you later. Get out of here. All right, we'll look at AJ Styles first. Now, I like this AJ Styles figure. I don't mind this head sculpt here. I think it looks pretty good. They got his tattoo work. Red and black always work good for me. He does have one fisted hand, which I always say they should have fisted hands. I would like this outfit and attire in an elite, actually. This black and red really pops. A little bit minimalistic, but that's okay sometimes. So I like the looks of this one. Uh, by no means is this going to be uh, the star of my AJ Styles collection, just being a basic and all. But this is a pretty strong basic. 
I wish basics had a little bit more playability to them. The knees are basically impossible to move. They're so hard, which maybe part of that thought process is you got to make them so hard so kids can't break them because an elite, they can get wobbly, they can get loose, they can be a mess. Uh, basics are probably more akin to hard playing, so maybe that's part of the thought process. We always have to take that step back and realize these are for kids at the end of the day. Um, but not terrible in this AJ. Uh, he's got the elbow articulation, the wrists go or the hands go side to side, of course. Arms up and down. You can go, you know, full on out. The head moves, the waist moves. Uh, the boots have a mold to it. Then, of course, the knees. There's nothing at the ankles, unfortunately. I uh, got phenomenal one down on the boots. So pretty solid as far as a basic goes, AJ Styles. I really do like this one for as far as a basic goes, like I said. It does fit on a ringside collectible stand, as you know. A lot of basics you don't need to stand with most of the time because they're just so durable. They don't have that ankle articulation. They stand there like a chess piece. So that works out okay most of the time. Now we turn our attention to Riddle here. <clears throat> I'm not sure what to think here. He does have ankle articulation. Uh, so that's a little interesting for a basic. But he does not have the boot or thigh because he doesn't have any boot or uh, thigh or thigh. Calf. Not, not, look at my anatomy right here. Calf articulation. I guess it wouldn't make sense to have him on there. He does have the wrist. He does have the elbows, the heads. This is okay for a Riddle figure. I'm not sure. He's got the big toothy smile going on. They did get the mushroom tattoo. Not quite as detailed as his elites, but it's still there. You got the original bro all over the tights. Uh, just painted on there, of course. Not terrible. Is this the best Riddle? By no means. Uh, but I can see people turning this one up to the next level. You get a soft, good shirt from a third-party company, something like that. You could dress this up a little bit, make it a little bit better. But it's okay for what it represents. And as of this time, I think I'm going down a complete Matt Riddle collection. He'll always be Matt Riddle to me. Uh, that's where I'm, my head's at. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. But it's okay. Definitely not as good as the Elites. Not as exciting as his first basic. That was, uh, gosh, was that basic like 110? I don't even know where that was. And that was a little bit more exciting because that was truly his first Mattel figure. Uh, so now we're going to get Riddle probably in a pretty good clip, especially with what's going on with him and Randy Orton right now. Uh, I got to think that'll give us a couple more Elites and maybe some basics, maybe a showdown two-pack with Randy Orton. Uh, the future's pretty bright for uh, Matt Riddle at this point, the way I see it, and from where I sit, which is right here at this table. Um, so there you go, Riddle AJ Styles. It's okay, $16, I feel like it's worth it. Uh, you can't beat an AJ Styles figure, so there you go. All right, now let's turn our attention to one of us classic fans. Uh, some of the hardcore fans out there I can see picking this one up is we've never had this incarnation of the British Bulldog, Dave Boy Smith. And then Big Boss Man, been a long time since we got an elite of this one. So there's going to be some differences here. So let's take a look at the packaging first. There's the old British Bulldog. There's old Big Boss Man. Same thing. We got the stands and the belt plates and stuff. I don't know a lot of little kids that are going to have either of these two as their champion putting them on the side of the belts. But hey, you never know. You never know. Um, but there they are looking in there. Uh, they are typical basic figures. So they're going to have the same articulation as these, as you guys are aware. And then on the back, you see Mankind Stone Cold. You see Trish and China, And then we got this two-pack. That's a very Legends-based showdown pack. I wonder if that's going to be the norm or if it just worked out that way. Uh, it'll be interesting to see where that goes in the future. If maybe every couple of series is going to be full of Legends, that's a good idea, I think, at this point in time. I, think, I don't think that's a bad idea at all. It's going to get some people buying uh, basics that would not buy them in the past. So there you go. UPCs, warnings, all that down below. We got a blurb. We got glamour shots. You got the rest of the lineup, all the fun stuff. Well, let's see what it says about the boss man and the British Bulldog. September 7, 1999. Jeez, that was 22 years ago. Wow, that seems crazy. Big Boss Man proved time and time again that he was the top dog in the hardcore championship division. So when he walked down the aisle to open SmackDown, he dared anyone in the locker room to try and take his title away. But there was one dog whose bite was worse than his bark. The British Bulldog. In his return match, Bulldog won the championship and sent Boss Man running with his tail tucked between his legs. I guess I remember that now that they say this here. So let's unbox it. Let's see what's going on here. I don't know. I'm not... It looks a little rough here. See you later. There it goes. All right, more tape. Pull that out. Got the British Bulldog. Very interesting. See you later. And the big boss man. Oh, we got old school classic boss man on here. Very cool. See you later. There it goes. All right, let me drink it in here. Let me drink this in. I don't know. There's the old plastic prison. What do you guys think? Looks like trouble to me. Let's see. We'll get down to it here. Let's pull them out. Bulldog. 
boss man. See you later. Get out of here. We're going to start with boss man first, and I do not like the face sculpt on this one. So it's different. I guess it's true effects. Maybe that's the difference here. But it looks a little bit out there. Uh, something is definitely off. I can't really put my nose on it. I think my nose on it? I, I don't know. I don't know where that came from. Uh, I can't figure out what is going on here. I guess it's the eyes. The eyes are uneven a little bit. And I don't know. It just doesn't look like the boss man. I mean, it looks like when you say, oh, it's the big boss man, you say, okay, I guess I can kind of see it. But if you took this body and you put this head separately, I don't know if you'd guess this is the big boss man. Uh, that's my opinion. You guys let me know if you uh, feel any different there. Uh, same articulation as the other guys we saw earlier. Very stiff. The knees are so stiff on these. You feel like you can break them or they're going to break on you. Uh, but I think they're just very durable. Uh, we've got an oversell of the jacket. You could cut this jacket off if you want just a plain black shirt. You could do that. So I could see some people maybe using this as a custom body somewhere down the line. You could also customize this. Or, hey, if you're a player out there, if you've got ring security and stuff, this could be a, a guy in the crowd or something like that. I could also see people using this in your G.I. Joe fed. Maybe he could be some kind of SWAT team member or something. Join up with Shockwave and those guys. I would have liked to see some accessories with Boss Man. I always feel like the big Boss Man should have a nightstick with him at all times. Uh, no nightstick with this one, unfortunately. And we did get an elite version of this big Boss Man in the past. Uh, we'll do some glamour shot comparisons of that one. Obviously, that is going to be my preferred Boss Man of this look. And when I think big Boss Man, this isn't the look I think of. But it's crazy. There's a whole generation out there. When they think the big Boss Man, this is what they think of. Uh, so there he is, the big boss man. Let me put him on a ringside collectible stand. Use discount code KYLE, save 10% on your stands. Now we turn our attention to the British Bulldog. Oh my. So Bulldog's head is better than boss man. It does get that good slicked back look the Bulldog had during this time frame. But from the neck down is where I really get lost. Very weird jeans going on here. I don't know if this was the style or what is going on with these jeans, but they just look strange. They look like sweatpants kind of. Sweatpant jeans, is that a thing? Kind of looks like that. He does not have a fisted hand, which is unfortunate, as I always say. Uh, but just a body. Extremely jacked, ripped body. Uh, a little too small. I think he should have been a little bit bigger, a little bit puffier maybe during this point in time. But the whole bottom, especially the waist down, takes it away from me. I just don't like the looks of these jeans. He did wear these black boots. I just felt like you could almost use those China boots from the Elite. And I guess that's an Elite figure with the, the tongue out and stuff. I kind of remember him wearing big boots like that during this time frame. But maybe this is correct. But I just don't like the look of the pants mold here. I feel like they could have done a better job there. I don't know. I just don't know if I can count this one as a win. I don't know if... Well, I do know. I 100% know this is Bulldog. This is not the Bulldog's most iconic look out there. He's got so many better looks. But I do like this was represented. I like that they went the deep cut. As we know, these basic showdowns figures are geared more towards kids. I wonder how well this pack will sell. You ask, you know, really little kids, they're probably not clamoring and remembering back to that hardcore match between the Boss Man and the British Bulldog in September of 1999. So I don't know if a lot of kids are going to be attracted to this like they would be for this set. Obviously, main players, current players here, deep cut throwbacks, deep cut Boss Man, deep cut Bulldog, probably not for everybody even hardcore collectors out there uh, referring back to their more iconic looks would say i don't want that i want the iconic looks so i do think this one might struggle at retail but things move together at a pretty good clip these days i don't think it's going to sit there for 10 years like some of the old packs back in the day looking at you the gemini from the jacks days but this one just kind of fell flat for me. I'm glad I have it. It's going to go deep in the back of the collection. This boss man, he might just be a, in my display, a crowd, in my ring setup. He might be in the crowd back in the back. Bulldog, I'll stick with the other Bulldogs just to have back there. But he'll be deep in the back corner. Uh, just showing some representation, but not at the forefront of my display collection. So, final verdict for me. This is the set to get. It's more current, which isn't always better, but it is more current. I like AJ Styles. I like the color tones on this one a whole lot. Riddle, I'm going to be a Riddle completist. I love Riddle. He's probably my favorite active wrestler in the WWE now with, as the dust settles of who's left. Um, he's probably my favorite one there. Definitely have nostalgia for these two. Uh, just not the correct nostalgia, if that makes sense. So there it is. You guys tell me in the comments, though. Are you picking these up? Easy passes for you. It's always interesting when we do these basic unboxings. We don't do a whole lot of them, so it's interesting to see what's going on in that. 
edge of the Mattel world. But let me know your thoughts on these. Make sure you like the video. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Hit the old notification bell. And uh, follow me on social media at SirPaul64 on Twitter. The underscore Kyle underscore Peterson on Instagram. And of course, ProWrestlingTees.com. Search Kyle Peterson. So for the British Bulldog, the big boss man, Matt Riddle and AJ Styles, and Larry Bird, I'm Kyle. See you guys all real soon.